Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Although this isn't going to be like some sort of mini series, I've got just over two and a half weeks uh, until I do uh, my first race post lockdown, uh, which is going to be a 5k. So uh, in this video, I'm going to tell you about what sort of training I've been up to in order to get myself in some sort of shape to try and attempt a new PB. Before I get into the race that's coming up, um, something arrived in the post, which uh, you may be able to see here. It's a new uh, neck scarf and T-shirt. So uh, this T-shirt turned up uh, along with a medal from the Gatwick Half Marathon, although I didn't actually sign up for the Half Marathon, signed up for the 5K. And uh, over the last year, uh, I have actually done a 5K, so I feel like I've actually earned it. Um, this one actually came from, it actually was supposed to be on the 10th of May last year. They'd obviously made uh, all the medals and the t-shirts, so figured that actually rather than let them go to waste, may as well distribute them. So I'm gonna go out for a run in it in a minute, show it off with pride, and uh, and go and do a bit of a session. If you're looking for a fast and relatively flat uh, half marathon, I would recommend the Gatwick half when it is now available. Um, I think it will probably, I think it's been written off for 2021, but uh, when it comes back in 2022, I would recommend it. There's a slight hill uh, at around about eight or nine miles, um, but it's, it's not too bad. It's actually quite fast and quite flat. Uh, it's a good atmosphere and I, I would highly recommend it. It also goes right past Gatwick Airport as well. So it goes all the way down parallel to the runway. So you're very, very likely to see a good couple of planes taking off or landing, um, possibly even right o uh, over your head because you do actually go underneath the flight path as well on two occasions. So you get pretty up and close uh, with the aeroplanes uh, when they are actually flying, which hopefully they will be again in 2022. So on to uh, the training I've been doing. The race I've signed up for is a 5K. It's the PB 5K. Um, which is a pretty fast uh, race. Uh, it's got quite a lot of athletes all running well under 20 minutes. Um, I think the fastest one that's, rate, that's listed is at about uh, 14 minutes. So you can see it's a, it's a pretty high quality. So I will be languishing somewhere near the back. The race itself was actually supposed to be at the beginning of January. So I'd signed up for that and you had to put down your time that you thought you would achieve or that you were looking to achieve something that was realistic and I actually put down 20 and a half minutes if you've been following the channel uh, you'll know that I've been I was injured uh, for quite some time so I was only just coming back and and I thought 20 and a half minutes was something that was reasonable I didn't want to get myself in some sort of silly situation of trying to go too fast but I am hoping now that I can go for a PB my recent PB has been 1906, I think. Um, so I really want to get something beginning with an 18. Um, so that's what I'm going to be going for. So although I'm possibly going to be slightly near the back because of my seeding time, hopefully that will mean that I'll be able to pick my way through the field um, and, and, and push myself on. So that's what I'm hoping to do. If you've been watching the series, you'll know that I've just been getting myself back into running, just building it up gently and slowly, and I feel like I'm starting to get myself back into some sort of shape, which is great. I haven't been closely following my coach's training plan because uh, I didn't feel like I was quite up to the ability for it, um, but uh, in well, one, one more week's time, we'll be back squad training again. So I will be back on that session. So I think I'm kind of getting into the shape where I can now cope with that higher intensity. So that's gonna be the final week. But what I have been doing is obviously training by myself, which is why I haven't been recording too many uh, interval sessions because I can't really put the camera down um, and, uh, and hope that it's still going to be there after I've got back after a, a 1K rep or something. So I've been training by myself, so I haven't done much videoing. Um, and also, as we know, for those that carry YouTube, uh, carry GoPros uh, when they go running, um, it's it's pretty hard to film and uh, and run at the same time. So I really wanted to focus on, on the training as opposed to actually just filming stuff. 
But what I have been doing is looking at breaking down the 5K into sections and then building my interval sessions around that. So I've done five 1K reps with uh, a couple of minutes of recovery. Sorry about the noisy birds, that's uh, spring for you. Um, and I also did uh, recently a, a broken up 5K into a 1500, two 1Ks and then three 500s, all with two minutes recovery in between. And that went really well. So um, I'll have to have a look at the times to remind myself exactly what I did. Okay, I've got them written down. So uh, there was, it was a 517, for the first 1500, then the two 1Ks, 325 and 323, then the three 500s, 137, 135, and another 137. So all told, that added up to 16 minutes 54 for a total 5K uh, distance, obviously with two minutes recovery in between. So sub 17 minutes in total, I'm hoping that's putting me in some good shape um, to actually hit something sub 19 when I actually do the full 5K. So uh, I'm really, really pleased with that session. Um, it obviously got me into moving uh, at a faster pace, working at a higher intensity than I was going to be doing actually in the race. And hopefully that will hold me in good stead. So that's been a good session. The session I've got lined up now is a tempo easy mix session. I suppose you'd almost call it a fart lick, not quite, but um, pretty close to it. So it's gonna be uh, a five minute easy run, then 10 minutes fast, five minutes easy, 10 minutes fast, uh, five easy, five fast, and then, and then finishing off. Um, so it should be finishing off with a five minute easy, but it depends on how close I am to my house, depends on how much of those five minutes I actually get done. So I'm gonna go and do that now. I'm gonna go and ditch this jacket um, so I can uh, wear my t-shirt with pride and, uh, and I'll go and get it done. One of the good things about starting off at a nice easy pace is that you can negotiate tricky uh, obstacles on your run, uh, much like this bridge. So this is the first bit of the run and uh, yeah, I wouldn't really wouldn't be running up a tempo up here. So uh, this is quite nice just to, you don't feel any pressure to be hitting any particular times. So it's just nice just to ease into the run. I've got a plan that when I do hit the faster session, faster part of the session, it will be uh, a little flatter um, and no uh, uh, major roads to cross and fairly easy. Pretty noisy as well today. This is always the problem as well. I'm going to try and cross roads. Seen a few runners out today, which is good. Here we go. No, it's still green light. Actually, I might just get across now. That's handy. Oh, best stop restart the watch. There we go. Found some slightly quieter roads to come down now, which is nice. Uh, so I can actually get actually onto the road rather than uh, on the pavement. Um, yeah, I've been going along on the tempo run for around about 6.20, 6.25 pace. So I'm pretty pleased with that. It's not as fast as I'm gonna need to go uh, if I wanna hit my 5K PB, but considering I'm gonna be doing about 25 minutes, it's not bad. Just gonna do another quick plug for the Gatwick Half Marathon um, and just tell you a little bit about this T-shirt, which actually I'm quite surprised about. It's absolutely lovely. Really, really light. Um, and uh, yeah, very, very comfortable to wear. It's actually in fact made from recycled plastic bottles. Um, but yeah, feels really, really nice. Some of the T-shirts, some of the T-shirts you get from running events aren't always that good, but I think as a whole, they've come on a bundle over the last few years. And this one being environmentally friendly and actually really nice to wear, I think is quality. So well happy with that. Thanks you Gatwick Hall. Just about to pick a pace up again for the next tempo session. So I've got 10 minutes of faster running to get done. Oh, and there's a hill to go up as well, which isn't going to be a treat. Final five minute section coming up. Feeling pretty tired now. 
Let's get it done. So the last little jog back in now, that's it. Uh, 25 minutes in total of uh, tempo running around about 6.20, 6.30 pace. So uh, a little slower than I need to be running the 5K at, but also uh, did more time on my feet at that harder pace. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, just gonna take the last couple of minutes jogging back home uh, and then we're done for the day uh, so thanks for watching uh, thanks for watching all the way to the end and uh, see you for the next video I'll let you know how I've been getting on uh, over the next week oh final point that I nearly forgot how's Lent going Lent is going great still not touched a single biscuit since uh, Ash Wednesday so I'm pretty pleased with that uh, currently I think I'm about eight pounds down uh, that's in weight not in money terms so I'm well pleased that uh, the weight is coming off so thanks for watching again see you for the next video enjoy your run